Hello everyone, Gene Molina here from Natural Tennis Solutions. Stop the madness. So this is going to be my new series on just my thoughts on certain topics that I'll put out there for you. So the first one I want to talk about is coaching. So coaching, there's a lot of different types of coaching styles out there and I know that coaches are all out there to do good. All coaches want to help their students. The problem is we got to realize that coaches are people too. So coaches don't know everything and some of them don't know that they don't know. So a real coach is going to really try to understand that you never will get to know everything. You can't. It's impossible. You cannot do it. So the only way to actually help your students is going to be to admit to yourself you don't know everything and to be a human with them. Not to think that you know way more than they do. So that is something that I've definitely learned through the years. I went through this whole thing of being the coach that knew more than my student and I had to prove it to them by criticizing every single mistake they make and by giving them the solution every time they made a mistake. And that is not the greatest way to coach. So if your coach is constantly criticizing and telling you what you're doing wrong every time, or if you're criticizing yourself and telling yourself that you're doing things wrong, stop. Cease and desist. Coaching, the way it's supposed to be done is it's supposed to be done implicitly where the coach gives you a task, you try to accomplish the task, and that task, if it's difficult for you to accomplish, now will challenge you. And you'll try your best to get it done. You'll do strokes and all that. But eventually you realize you can't do it so then you go to the coach and you ask him how do I get this done and if he truly knows the fundamentals that you need to know in order to get that task done he will tell you and you will be attentive you will want to learn instead of the coach directly talking to you all the time and telling you how they want it done and how it's supposed to be done and you tuning them out because you don't like to be lectured so a lot of people don't like to be lectured by coaches. This is what I'm doing right now, right? I'm lecturing. Um, but the thing is that in order to learn, you have to absorb the information and you have to want to learn. So if you give the student a task and they can't accomplish it, that will prove to them they're not good enough to get it done. So as a, a good coach, you're going to say, okay, well, you can't get it done, you know, why do you think? You ask them the question and then if they don't know, then you might suggest something and say, well, let's try, you know, continental grip and try to do it that way. Let's try continental grip and maybe keep, keep this L shape going so you can keep yourself, you know, hitting that shot. So whatever they were doing. But coaching is about implicit learning by doing, right? Giving your, t your student a task, something they have to do and then letting them come to you and ask you, wow, how do I get this done? And then giving them one thing to work on, one thing during that task. Don't give them 10. 10 different things can't do it. You can't tell them grip, then you can take back and turn sideways and then finish and follow through. You can't tell them all that stuff. Just one thing. Coaches, please, please. Implicit coaching with one thing at a time to learn. Stop the madness.